Is it dead? No. Big flash, bro. Flash, bro. This is good. Bro, this is good. Bro, dead. No, we're in. We're in. We're in. I'll move you to the top yellow. No yellow, 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 yeah. Okay, the other one below. I'm Visa stairs, Visa stairs. I'm watching pair right now. Just one there he is. Okay, go back long. Go back long. He's working off. Nice shot. What's up guys? I'm Senvale and today we are doing an operator guide for Zofia. We're gonna be talking about all about how to play this entry, what your loadout should be, how you should be playing throughout the round and what your focus is to be and how to excel and rank up while playing Zofia. Let's get to it. All right, let's talk your loadout. So you have the LMG and the M762 assault rifle. So the LMG was recently nerfed, so the recoil is kind of massive. So honestly, there's not much of a reason to run this LMG over this AR. This AR is actually really good. It bounces a tiny bit, but you'll have a 1.5 scope. And if you can't control the bounce, run the vert. Makes it a little bit easier. You can have an angle grip or a vert. I prefer the vert personally. So this is that if I run, flash header. You got one choice of pistol, and then you have preaching charges or claymores. Depending on your situation, you could go either way. It doesn't really hurt. All right, here is the recoil of the AR. Very easy to use. It does bounce a little bit more than like, let's say a G36C, but it is an extremely strong gun. It's a good gun. Not gonna let you down. Now let's talk Sophia's utility, her grenade launcher. So you have two impacts or two concussions. So if you've ever been hit by an Elamite, it basically stuns you for a bit, but you are able to fight. And these are just like impact grenades on defense. So you have four altogether. So the reason why this is strong is because being able to open up lines of sight like this can lead to a lot more kills than normal. And the reason why I like Zofia a lot is let, let's say they have a shield on that window. And I burn it all. I burn the ADSs or whatever's on the shield and I destroy the shield. So Zofia is kind of like an all-in-one, like I can do that on like whatever utility I want. Like let's say there's a pixel shield up here. Maybe one second to run over there. So I said claymores. I love claymores because you know claymore the windows. I would run breach if I like wanted to do the top down here. Let's go to this window. Open the window. Let's say there's a shield there. I can shoot my concussions and then shoot an impact and destroy the shield without having to need any other operators. I can do it all by myself. Okay, let's take you guys to a normal round as Sophia. So we're going to be pretending we're pushing the kitchen site. So, boom. I'm going to want to drone to clear out the bakery. Bakery is clear. Okay, good. Good. Let's say they have a shield there. Like I showed you guys. Like, okay, well. Shields destroyed. I fall back. So let's say there's something on the wall. My teammates need it off. So as an entry, I am looking to help take utility off the walls for enemies. I mean, I'm working around looking for roamers as well. Open this. I'm being cautious of my surroundings because you never know who's up here. And I'm looking for a cave claw. So here, a lot of times people put a K-Claw right here. So I'll go boom and I'll destroy the K-Claw. So my hard breaches will be able to open the wall, watching for the flankers again. And I'm gonna go back downstairs. They're gonna open up the wall and I'm gonna help engage the enemy. As an entry, now I've used all my utility. So I can't, I don't need to be as afraid about taking initial firefights because some other teammates might still have utility. I use my utility very quickly in the round. So I, I'm not worried about taking a gunfight because I already used my utility. So now I'm just here. Let's say the wall is open. I'm either pushing the wall, or fighting enemies here, or I'm pushing through prep. And uh, we're pushing the site so we can go for a plant on the default. All right, now we're going to go through some gameplay while playing Zofia. So here, I take over control of yellow, I open up rotate so we can get a teammate into the bathroom like other entries might not potentially have a uh, soft destruction like Ayana so I'm, I'm making the rotates the soft destruction for the Ayana because Ayana will have the grenades so here I'm playing aggressive 
I'm looking for picks. I see my teammates push in to connect her. And like I said, like, I don't really have any extra utility to provide the team. So do not be afraid to take firefights. CJ is a swinger beast one game. And when you're playing an entry frag, you need to get aggressive. We take out the castle. So now I know, okay, well, we're all up here. There's three guys left and there's a pulse. Someone's probably downstairs. So I rotate around. Always keep your head on the swivel because you never know where your enemies are going to come from. You can kind of guess. So I'm, I don't check piano door, and then I'm gonna check the hallway. And my teammate tells me that there is one coming from that hallway. I was already kind of ready for it though. And now we know pulse is probably in the piano area. I mean, most people that are going to play pulse are going to deny a plant from underneath. So we're trying to find this pulse. So we get the plant down and now I'm in a, in a firefight. The teammates outside and we take him out. So Sophia, one thing I really want to emphasize is this gun is a little rough to like hold a pixel. So a lot of times with this gun, it does 45 damage and a decent fire rate. Don't be afraid to swing it to somebody. It, it can shred them. So I, I wouldn't be too worried about like being aggressive here. Like, like I'm being incredibly aggressive here in a post plan situation because I, instead of waiting for him to swing me, I want to get the jump on him and I'm every time I swing I have my gun up and I'm ready for the firefight all right another play as Zof. so using the launcher I open up a rotate and he wasn't ready for it and he goes down super fast he was not ready for that firefight I have the element of surprise he doesn't have that much time to react we take him out Playing incredibly aggressive as an entry frag. I mean, you can do this as literally any operator. Honestly, you're, you're going to see this a lot more in higher elo. Like people are going to just play aggressive. But while you are an entry, expect to have to play aggressive. All right, here's another clip as Sophia for one of my YouTube videos. I have a drone. So always drone yourself or have someone drone you in. So you, you have some type of intel going in. So I see a foot clearly. So I go in and I pre-fire, knowing the guy is going to be there. And then we hold for a bit, seeing if we can find anything. I already got that first primary kill. I can be a little bit more passive here now. Trying to see if we can find another pick. We're just waiting for our team to kind of catch up or aggress somewhere else. We're just gonna stay here looking for the pick. Not playing too aggressive there. Setting up Claymore for the flank. I see a teammate. Drop a hatch, drops hatch. So being in another entry, I need to get in there. Like I'm kind of not really doing anything. So I run in there with them and we get a trade. I don't think we down that guy actually. Playing aggressive, keep your crosser up. Always ready for a gunfight. When you swing, be ready for a gunfight. Don't swing with your crosser down. I see a lot of people do this, especially on console. They like swing out with their gun down, not ready for the fight. And they, they're like, oh, how do I, how do I get better sense? How do I get my aim better? It's like, well, your gun's not even up. I always have your gun ready. Pre-fire, if you think they're gonna be there, you have tons of ammo. This doesn't have much to do with Sophia as, as it does to deal with being a good entry frag. So your team is stalling out, there's a minute left. You have no real take on the site. You gotta get in there. You gotta do something push early before there's no time left now it's a 2v3 i have to find something and work a pick or get the try to get the plant down we find one every time we swing to the unknown have your gun up that was a little bit a little bit of misplay by me i have my gun up i'm like ready for a fight i do see him and i do start to shoot so that wasn't too bad i know there's one in the trump area i'm not quite sure where he is oh no he's actually coming up main we take him out taking a situation that seems fairly unwinnable and putting us back into a situation where we are probably going to win so again be aggressive especially when you see you you are down on man account and i mean you are an expendable op especially late in the round like you gotta get in there you're attacking you are not a defender uh, it's a little bit of an older clip but same rules kind of apply to what i was showing you guys so when i'm playing zove honestly per, I, I like working a lot of vert because i can do it like sledge 
but a little bit safer. I'll have breaching charges and two extra impacts. So I'll have a lot of breach for the above and you can work the top down. So like, here's what I'm talking about. Like I'm kind of afraid of a potential nitro here. So instead of putting the breach charge there or I'm out, we just open it up, get the angle. That's all we really need here is the angle. Burn the utility on the shield so I can destroy the shield. We're going to top down another older clip, but I just really want to talk about this one key aspect of Zof that a lot of people won't talk about is using your concussive monster, not just to clear utility, but to clear a hallway. So let's watch this. If it doesn't go off instantly, that means you know that you know that nobody's over there because it will activate on proximity so you will we'll be able to make a move or like let's say there's there's a left and a right turn and you shoot your launcher left and it doesn't go off you know they're not left i mean you can shoot it left and right but you're using two shots of it if neither go off that means you know they're not even close so i shoot it down the hallway so i know i can swing in and react to whoever's to my right without having to worry about the hallway because nobody's gonna swing me from this area while i go in because you shot the launcher we basically get a free entry through the swing as long as i can isolate at least one spot to like push in through with the launcher i'm good but a lot of times i am going to use that launcher to clear a shield or some type of utility because it's going to be really easy for zof to clear it versus like having to have a nomad with flashbangs and someone with grenades Zof can just do it all by herself all right i'm gonna leave you guys with some ending tips really quick Sophia, when you pick zof you are clearing some type of shield. Like you're always going to go after that, that main spot of a defender hold, let's say that cap A, that pixel hold. You're gonna to wanna to clear that shield at pixel. You're gonna to wanna to clear whatever shield, like let's say kitchen on the same map, cafe. You wanna clear that shield. You're always probably going to clear a shield. If there is no specific shield that you need to clear, don't worry about it. Work the vert, work whatever you gotta do. Use your launcher for quick soft entry use your concussive launcher to clear a hallway without having to drone it Dove is very flexible in what you can do and she is very strong definitely a top tier operator the only downside to Zof is you don't have frag grenades so you don't have any kill potential with your gadget but you do have a lot of soft destruction and just overall utility with this kit so and done now is extremely good granted the lmg was broken for a while but now they are is really good and it doesn't really feel broken so i don't think we're gonna see a nerf here so anyways guys make sure to stay aggressive you're an entry you're one of the first people in the, in the room use your utility first if you can and then get aggressive yeah i mean you gotta do what you gotta do if you're one of the first ones dead not a problem because you, you want to risk yourself versus risking the thermite or the ace because if the hard breach goes down you're probably losing the round risk yourself get that entry get that early flank cam that prep cam going and uh push in anyways guys if you guys learned something today make sure to drop a sub and uh drop a comment leave a like for more uh more operator guys coming daily uploads and daily streams on twitch peace out guys until next time